I'm excited to share with you three tips for manifesting money, wealth, and abundance. Money, riches, and wealth, and abundance come from the state of consciousness that starts with desire. And that comes out of conditioning your mind over and over and over again and creating a mind that is actively attracting self-replenishing, inexhaustible supply of wealth. Now, your state of mind creates your state of results. Some of you have heard that, you may say that before, and a rich state of mind creates rich results ultimately and inevitably. Now, a poor state of mind creates poverty. Lack and limitation and poverty belong in only one place, a museum. And no one can cause your lack except you. Also, no one can really cause your fundamental riches except you. And God made each of us to be free, successful, have our right livelihood, be prosperous, and obviously decide in favor of ourself and choose to deliver the fullest, best manifestation of our skills, talents, and abilities. Because the only equality in universe is a quality of competence. When we have a plumber come to my house, I want a competent plumber. When I write, I want to write competently. When I go to sit in front of a great and inspiring teacher, I want him or her or them to be absolutely competent. There's no other kind of equality, uh, you know, if you're in a free enterprise system and I want to make the whole world be a free enterprise system, just so you know what I want. But America is the crowning goal dream of an ideal based on constitution and book of laws, which you've got to understand and get there. Now, I want you to be in a vocation that you love. So you can take the divine self-initiative to action, be profitable result getting, and voila, your fortune arrives and keeps on coming and getting bigger, better, stronger, more meaningful, and more impactful. Because when you arrive at something like say, oh, uh, game over when I get to a million. Now, that's so called a good beginning. It is a platform for infinitely more, bigger, greater, and grander success if you're awake, alive, and enthusiastic and know what you're doing. Because you're here to be a result gilder, to go from success to success, result to result, and spiritual language, glory to glory to glory. So you got to understand that old spiritual literature on the planet, the Upanishad said, out of abundance. He or she took abundance. And still abundance remained. I mean, if you go to the ocean with a thimble, you can get a thimble full of water. If you go with a bucket, you get a bucket full of water. If you go with an endless system, you can pull it out. And in Israel, they've got so much desalinated water, they're selling it to the rest of the Arab countries and we're making the deserts bloom. And there's infinitely more ways to do that. And if you watch some of my other videos, I talk about them. But what is abundance? It's yours. The harvest time is now. The beneficiary is that you can have all you want. And similarly, there's trillions of dollars floating around in the world and the world economy. All you got to do is take off the blinders, decide what unique little itty bitty talent you can do. And a piece of string made one man a billionaire. We call it dental floss. When the great seminarist, Dr. Russell Conwell, was going around the country and saying, all of us have acres of diamonds in our mind. I hope you read that great self-help book like I hope you read all of mine. But a little lady said, she was pinning papers for Abe Lincoln and said, what wow. He says, all it takes is one idea to be rich. She created the paperclip. And if you go downtown Philadelphia, there's a six story paperclip dedicated to that little woman's imagination. And she probably wasn't little, I have no idea. But the point is you and I have ideas and you got to tell yourself each and every day, I have and accept and see great money-making ideas. I mean, there's ideas everywhere I go. I mean, if you ever get with me at one of my seminars or we meet, you know, somewhere, I'll listen to you for a few minutes. I'll say, you can do this, 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 because my mind goes, you got a body, you got a brain, you got a mind, which does two things. It can imagine and it can in have intuition, but then you get a soul. Now the soul is the level that Christ said, with me, all things are possible, but he says, all things are possible to him who believes. Well, possibility is in the infinite new sphere, Shadarn called it, but I'm saying it's in your spiritual sphere, the bigger, higher you, the higher self of you. And it's there for each and every one. And the Bible says, as a man or woman think in his or her heart, so is he or she. 
And that is absolutely true. But what you got to do is you got to put a system in order to make it work. And the system of reactor them, save yourself time, energy, and money. And every system has an outside and inside. And if you start studying everything about a system in one year, you can pretty much master most systems, at least the essence of them. And then if you meet everybody in them, interview everybody in them, you can voila, become the best. And that's what I did when I decided to do um, licensing in the book business. I read about it on the weekend. I read Steven Spielberg and George Lucas' book, went to Jack, said, we're going to uh, license product. So what do you know? I said, nothing. What do you know? Nothing. I good. Then we're qualified. In one year, I'll study everything. I'll meet everyone. We did a billion dollars worth of chicken soup of the sole licensing, and I'm still licensing stuff. So it's, it's wonderful. Because you and I are here to master not one thing, like I'm a garbage man, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a gender. That's uh, the career you've got. And a job means you're just over broke. I want you to have self-replenishing wealth. And we're going to talk about three ways to do it. Because you've got to build a system to conquer an incontestable, incontestable money-making uh, uh, arrangement. So it appears that the world may be against you. Cash in on that. Now, one book that we're publishing for a guy in the Mark Victor Hansen Library failed his way through elementary and junior high school. He was passed along and told, look, kid, you got ADD, attention deficit disorder. He says, I'm the poster child for attention deficit disorder. I said, me too. That just means you know how to think and that you can do stuff that nobody else has ever thought of doing before. They passed him along and let him do it, but they said, you'll never amount to very much. Well, he was wise enough to be exceedingly handy and he could fix everyone's garage door lickety split like that. And he called his business A1 Garage Door Service. And he says, we give you the same day service with a smile and we're clean and neat and do a great job and you'll be thankful we came into your house. And then he made it even better and made 20 year garage springs, all kinds of stuff that nobody had ever thought because he loved the business, he prospered greatly. He started hiring other people and train them to make a fortune fixing garage doors. And on that we call scaling. Well, now he has a thousand people and he has just here in Phoenix, Arizona, over 400 trucks with his name painted over it. Everybody knows him. It's the number one branded garage door, fix them up here. And now he's in 35 states, soon to go to all states in the country, 50 states, and then he's going into Canada. And, and he's launched an enterprise called, uh, that's exponentially expanding, called A1 Garage Door Service. And we've just published his book called Elevate, because he wants everyone to be elevated, no matter whether you're educated, uneducated, employed or not employed, or think he can do it or don't think he can do it. He thinks everybody has infinitely more success in them than, than they do. And I believe the same thing. And he said, when you learn a trade with me, you start making money for a lifetime. You pay your bills, you get to have a nice car, you get to have nice vacations, get an education for your kids, get married, you'll probably make over a hundred grand a year. The man's name is Tommy Mello. And I said, hey, Tommy, ADD just means you're plussing everybody else. Most people don't see it that way because They've got a model that says ADD people don't make it. Well, I'm going to tell you about another ADD person here in a second, the number two. But look, he is blessed. He is blessing. He is prospering. He is saying no to all the naysayers like I did when 144 people turned us on chicken soup. And I said, look, it's a badge of honor to be actively creating multiple enterprises. And Bob Proctor and I long ago traded the mark, market term MSI's multiple source of income, and we did a lot of seminars on it around the world. You can watch Bobby on YouTube too. So number two, Richard Branson. Now Richard Branson is the founder of 421 Virgin Companies. He told Chris and I that he was dyslexic, meaning he reads backwards and upside down. Finished, got out of high school before he was finished at 17 years old, because. Uh, it wasn't working for him. He started a little magazine, started doing a record company, started doing a lot of other company. But we were thinking and playing with him in joyous delight down at Necker Island, which if you ever get a chance or a reason to go, you want to go. But here's another guy with ADD and dyslexic, and he is worth, according 2022, 421 companies that are worth 5.2 billion, that's spelled with a B, dollars, and he is just a joy. He won't stand up and talk. He says, look, I'm a little scared still, so I just sit down. What does it mean? You mean you have to take self-determined action to get the results you want. You got to get up and go do it. You got to confront your fears, make them disappear, stand on your um, 
whatever threatens you and decide to go through it courageously. And I'm giving you permission and acceptance and look forward to meeting you and hearing your success story. Number three, what do you do when it appears the world is totally against you? I say cash in on it. Now, my friend, Wojciech, who is obviously born in Yugoslavia, went to Australia, has an Australian and American passport. He was born with no arms and no legs. And most people say, you don't have a chance. It's a rare disease called Tetramalaya syndrome, characterized by the absence of limbs. When Nick was six years old, he was totally suicidal and down on himself and ready to drown himself in a few inches of water. Now, his father said, kid, you're not allowed to be a victim. When he's ready to drown himself, God talked to him and said, hey, you have a big, important future, Nick. I need you alive, well, and serving me. Now, Nick decided to become a success, and he isn't just a little success. He's a brilliant success, talking around the world as a motivational speaker, writer, thinker, thought leader par excellence, and an AI creator of Multitude, which you're going to hear a lot about, because what it does is it instantly translates my voice in my tone and intonation into 85 different languages. So when you're watching me, some of you could be in the very near future listening in Spanish, Swahili, Japanese, Korean, uh, Cantonese, Hindi, Urdu. It doesn't matter. Do you understand? This guy could have drowned. We could have lost all of his talents. Now, some of you are at the edge of your talents. You're at the edge of saying, I'm hanging on. I'm barely making it. I'm hanging on by my fingernails. I gotta, I'm so low, I got to reach up to touch bottom. I've been there. I wanted to commit suicide once. So I promise you, you've got more in you that's bigger, better, more successful than you've ever imagined. And you are here to use these three tips to manifest your money, wealth, and riches abundance. I promise you, you can do it.